like and subscribe right now or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. When it comes to military spending, we know the United States always comes on top. With around a trillion dollar budget, the military is richer than many countries of the world. A lot of this money is spent on aircraft, tanks, and ships, all of which are top of the line and represent the furthest advances in military technology. In other words, they cost a lot of money. Today, we are looking at some of the most expensive military machines ever built. Number one costs 45 billion US dollars, so watch out for that one. Number seven, Sikorsky or Lockheed CH-53K King Stallion. According to Military Machine, the United States fleet of heavy lift cargo helicopters, known as the CH-53E Super Stallions, have experienced nearly three times their normal usage rate due to the demands of the global war on terrorism. With an average age of about 15 years and after extended use in harsh conditions, they've become more costly and time-consuming to maintain than to operate. Because of this, the Marine Corps was required to put some decommissioned aircraft back in service. As a more viable solution, they then resorted to the development of a newer, more reliable fleet. In 2005, Sikorsky was granted a contract for their heavy lift replacement program, and here's what they came up with. You can call it King Stallion for short. The King Stallion contains several upgrades from its primitive version, the 53E. Thanks to a bigger cockpit and more powerful engines, it has over double the lift capacity of the Super Stallion, and its expanded 99 feet or 30 meters long, 27 feet or around 8 meters high haul will elevate the scale of efficiency of its capacity to transport more and more material. The powerful aircraft has a maximum speed of 170 knots, courtesy of 27,500 horsepower engines. Now, developing such an advanced helicopter does come at a cost, and the King Stallion has become exceedingly more expensive throughout its development. In April 2010, 156 King Stallions were to be built, and that number increased to 200, taking the 18.7 billion US dollar contract up to an astounding 25.5 billion. All costs considered, the unit price of the King Stallion is around 95 million bucks. A crucial requirement, though, for getting the King Stallion into service was met in 2016 when it flew 100 feet or 30 and a half meters above the ground, while carrying 27,000 pounds or 12,247 kilograms of payload, which was nearly triple the Super Stallion payload. Number 6. USS Gerald R. Ford Valued at approximately 13 billion US dollars, the 1,106 foot or 337 meters long United States Navy aircraft carrier known as the USS Gerald R. Ford is both the most expensive military vehicle and the largest aircraft carrier in the world. The Gerald R. Ford is relatively a new ship whose construction was started in 2005. If you haven't figured it out yet, the ship is named after Gerald Ford, the 38th President of the United States. In December 2012, the ship joined the fleet and replaced the decommissioned USS Enterprise, which was retired after 51 years of service. The USS Gerald R. Ford is expected to embark on her first deployment in the year 2022. Now, to give you an idea, let us tell you that it is capable of fielding 75 aircraft. With an expected lifespan of 50 years, the ship is also equipped with the latest radar technology and will be capable of loading weaponry and launching aircraft faster than ever before. If all that goes according to plan, the Gerald R. Ford will be the first of an entire class of aircraft carriers significantly improved from the previous fleet known as the Nimitz class. The Ford class carrier will be the most advanced ship on the sea and an asset for the maintenance of maritime superiority across the oceans of the globe. Number 5. Panzer 8 Mouse We all know that when it comes to land-based military vehicles, it doesn't get much bigger or badder than a tank. There were a lot of tanks that were used in World War II, but one German tank still remains unparalleled to this day, even from the rest of the advanced tanks around. That tank was the Maus, and while it didn't quite make it to mass production, its existence remains an incredible feat to this day. The tank was designed by Porsche, and it weighed over 180 tons. Even though this tank can only be found in museums, its price today would be around 2 million US dollars. Not bad, right? Number 4. V-22 Osprey Designed for the U.S. military, the Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey is a joint-service medium-lift multi-mission tilt-rotor aircraft, and it's futuristic in both appearance and function. So wait, what exactly is this thing? Don't worry, we'll try to explain. Like the helicopter, the V-22 Osprey is capable of vertical takeoff and landing. However, it also possesses the range, altitude, and endurance of an airplane, and can go twice the speed of a helicopter. In layman's terms, we can say that the helicopter converts itself into a turboprop airplane while it can fly. This gives it the advantage of being able to endure some of the most challenging environments on the planet. 
which in turn gives it the ability to carry out missions that were previously unachievable with just one aircraft. Since the prototypes of aircraft were flown in 1989 and throughout the remainder of its development process, the V-22 Osprey has been subjected to controversy. The cost of the program was among the chief complaints among the critics. Between 1986 and 1988, the developmental budget was increased from 2.5 billion US dollars to a whopping 30 billion. Then, in 2008, another 27.2 billion were required to meet the program's production quota. The unit cost of the V-22 Osprey is 72.1 million US dollars. An article that was published in the 2000 issue of Time magazine asserted that the aircraft is an overpriced and unsafe hunk of junk. The claim wasn't without merit, though. Between 1991 and 2006, 30 fatalities would result from V-22 Osprey plane crashes. Still, though, the military pushed ahead with their plans, and it was first used in Iraq in 2007. Number 3. Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II In recent years, the U.S. and its allies have faced the difficulties of upkeeping their aging fighter fleets. One requirement of preserving global security and stability is the ability of these nations to maintain air superiority. That means staying ahead of the times when it comes to fighter aircraft. In response to this demand of ongoing advancements in military flight technology, an international team of leading aerospace companies developed the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II, a single-seat supersonic fifth-generation fighter aircraft equipped with the world's most powerful engine. Its production began in 2006, and it was finally introduced for military use at the beginning of 2015. Fifth-generation fighters are the most advanced jet fighters, known for things like superior maneuverability, stealth, and agility. Their top-of-the-line technology gives pilots several advantages, including heightened situational awareness and survival ability. Just one of these bad boys costs 122 million US dollars. And the F-35 was designed as an affordable model, and the United States Department of Defense has introduced a plan to lower its unit price to less than 85 million by the end of 2019. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. If you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it in a future video. Number 2. P-8A Poseidon The P-8A Poseidon is the U.S. Navy's newest maritime patrol and reconnaissance aircraft. Developed by Boeing Defense Space and Security, it's based on the 737-800ERX short to medium range airliner. Designed primarily for securing the Navy's future in long-range maritime patrol capability, the high-tech airplane performs numerous functions. It's equipped with some of the latest sensors such as an APY-10 multimode synthetic aperture radar and other top-notch technology essential for carrying out advanced intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions. One key purpose of the maritime patrol aircraft is the tracking of movements of ships and submarines throughout the world's oceans, and in the event of hostilities, sinking them brutally. This combat-capable aircraft is prepared for both anti-submarine and anti-surface warfare. In fact, it is so well armed with mines, missiles, torpedoes, and other weapons that its original wings had to be replaced to support the weight. The Navy's much-needed upgrade from the P-3 Orion to the P-8A Poseidon did come at a cost, however, because the Poseidon program totals out at 33 billion US dollars, with a unit cost of roughly 150 million per aircraft. Now, despite the shockingly high price tag, the unit cost of the aircraft actually came under budget, all thanks to the decisions to phase its advanced system incrementally and to use pre-existing airframes. Number 1. Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit The Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit, or the Stealth Bomber for short, is quite possibly the most expensive military aircraft ever built in the US, in terms of per-unit cost. Originally, the Spirit was used to carry bombs into the Soviet territory during the Cold War leading to armed conflict. In 1988, just a few years before the end of the Cold War, it was shown to the public for the first time. It was designed to carry nuclear bombs, but later was fitted to carry other types of weapons. On a single tank of fuel, the B-2 can travel 6,900 miles or 11,104 kilometers, but also can remain in the air indefinitely, thanks to aerial refueling. Because of the huge cost of the project, though, the original plan of building 132 of them had to be scaled back. And at a grand total of 45 US billion dollars, the Spirit Production Program delivered 21 units of these to the US military. B-2s were put into use in the Cold Civil War in 1999 and have since been used in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Libya. As a strategy to counter the potential threats from North Korea, it has more recently been placed in bases throughout the Pacific. The US Air Force plans to keep them in service until 2032. As a result of a crash in 2008, only one of them has been destroyed so far. If we've learned anything today, it is that national security isn't cheap. 
Which of the above mentioned military machinery did you find the most impressive? Tell us your views in the comments and be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel.